Good morning. Austerity has hit the Lower Romney Valley. They've switched off most of the street lights. Times are hard. Actually, times are cold. Anyway, properly good morning. It's the 23rd November 2013. It's a Saturday. It's about oh, 6.50 hours Greenwich Mean Time. It's cold. There's been a hard frost. It's clear. You can see the moon and you can see the stars. I'm not sure what that is. That could be Venus. Or oh, maybe not Jupiter. I'll have to look at my app. Uh, desperately in need of some tiny rebel and a copy of the South Wales Echo. And my fingers are tingling already. There you go. Update. Well, you can see the frost on the roofs. And according to the app, to the right of the moon, that's Mars. Probably pretty cold there too. Anyway, I'm going this way. Newport. Right. Mind you, Newport at half past seven in the morning. I have some money on my Starbucks app. And I think I need some uh, whipped cream. You know. Some sort of Christmas tree thing happening. I know I'll get sure about that. Anyway. American coffee. Yeah. Free Wi-Fi. Yeah. Warm up the hands. Absolutely. The diet. The diet starts in 2014. And this is where we're starting. Free house. John Wallace Linton. JD Weatherspoon Pub. Open from seven, bar open from eight. That's off. Tinsel, Christmas trees, happiness. Festive beer. This is Sleigh Bell by Everards. Four and a half percent alcohol by volume. Big. Well, in British sorts of sense, foamy head. Nice carpet for Mr. Manning. Nice games machine. Hmm. Not a huge body. But. I like that. That is a classic British bitter. I'm thinking B. Plus. This is number two. <laughs> This is Rick Wall Gold from the Rick Wall Brewery, 4.5% alcohol by volume. That's the second 4.5% alcohol by volume. Told to the barman, he tried this in Cumbran and was not keen on it. He wasn't thick enough, heavy enough, I'm thinking body. So we'll have a little look. I usually like Rick Wall, he said he usually likes Rick Wall. Mm. Not a great deal of body, but big taste. A little bit of tickly. Yeah, tickles on the tongue as well. I think the B plus. Anchor, New Zealand butter. That's off to the New Zealanders. They're good boys. And I met one in the week. They're very good boys. And girls. Directionless by Red Willow with 4.2% alcohol by volume and pumped, of course. Oh, there goes the BMAT. Mm. Starts off gentle, but it has the citrusy hops in the finish, which I like. 
There's such a tiny rabble about it. B plus plus. Hockey, as opposed to old hockey. In Hook Norton Brewery, this is three and a half percent alcohol by volume, which is fair enough because bad struggle. Anyway, nice head, clear bitter. There's a clock. Is a fire ready for? Actually, could be on. On. Burning. Oh, that's not bad. I'm not altogether sure what hops they use. But I would say that's essentially English. Lime Welsh. Ooh, B plus plus. Yeah. This is the rear entrance to the pen and wig. Which is now the white tunnel. Um which is a good start. Another four point five brew. The third of today, which is also awesome bred by Acorn Brewery. <clears throat> Almost creamy heads. Creamy head. Nice citrusy taste. And citrusy finish. B plus plus. <laughs> 